Which Slaval of a train, rockers? What do you look for when setting roller geometry and sweep pattern? We set our aluminum systems with a low pivot geometry which results in the majority of the sweep pattern occurring while spring pressures are at their lower range. The majority of roller travel occurs from zero lash to half lift which results in minimum roller travel for the duration of lift when spring pressures are greatest. At zero lash, the roller should start approximately 0.050 behind the center of the valve stem, sweep across the center and in near the center at full lift. What is the proper way to set valve lash? Starting at number 1 cylinder, rotate the engine until the number 1 exhaust rocker just starts to open the exhaust valve. Set the valve lash on number 1 intake rocker at this time. Continue rotating the assembly and stop when number 1 intake rocker starts returning from full lift. The lash on number 1 exhaust can now be set. Continue this procedure for the remaining cylinders following the engine's firing order. Do I have to torque the adjuster nuts? We highly recommend using a torque wrench when setting valve lash. Our recommended torque setting for a typical 3 8 24 cup or ball style adjuster is 25 pounds per foot over tightening the adjuster nut stresses the thread area in the rocker body leading to premature rocker arm failure. Are there any break-in procedures I need to follow? The most critical step in initial startup is the proper break-in of the adjuster cup to push rod tip surfaces. We supply a high-pressure lube with all rocker kits to prevent premature failure and wear of the adjuster cup area. The shaft bearings are fully lubricated from Gsol and only require splash lubrication once running. My adjuster is screwed fully into the body and I still can't get lash. Can I drill out the body and sink the adjuster? No. We see more rocker failures due to this procedure. Invest in shorter push rods or if it's an emergency, raise the stand slightly. Never modify the adjuster cup counter bore area. How far out can I run my adjuster? We recommend not running the adjuster turned out more than two revolutions from the fully seated position. All rockers are shipped from Gsol with the adjuster set at one full turn from seated. Operating an engine with the adjusters more than two turns out puts excessive loads on the cup area and may lead to premature failure of the adjuster. When should I be running needle bearing nose rollers? We highly recommend needle nose rollers on any application using 5 16 diameter or smaller valve stems. Open spring pressures and valve lifts are also factors to look at when ordering a rocker system. We have what we call our 800 to 800 rule. Any application running more than 800 pounds open or over 0 0.800 worth of total valve lift should be running needle nose rollers. My rockers are rubbing the retainers. Can I relieve the area for extra clearance? Yes, it is safe to remove a small amount of material from the underside of the rocker to gain additional clearance between the body and retainer. We recommend using a ball type end mill and not something like a fly cutter which will leave sharp edges. Stress fractures can occur if sharp edges are left after machining so be sure to round all sharp edges. We can provide this option when rockers are being manufactured. When should I replace my rocker arms? There is no set time to replace a rocker arm body and generally there are many factors involved such as spring pressures, operating temperatures and the occasion over rev. Aluminum body rockers will fatigue over time and varies by application and operating environments. One of the first signs of fatigue is the failure of the body surrounding the adjuster. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.